Poppy K and her weekly vlogs Shopping, reading and her monologues Poppy K and her weekly vlogs Poppy K, subscribe, like, comment and share My channel my name is Katie I hope you are doing well today is Wednesday it is the first day of my vlog because yesterday was epic I was trying to finish and finish and finish that book and I did the old uh, kingdom of ash and the whole series of the throne of glass today I started and finished bookshops and bone dust and this is the prequel to the La legends and lattes book i loved it it was just what i needed a little bit of cozy fantasy after an epic series that i've i started reading when did i start reading it in june yeah, so just at the beginning of September, I just finished it. So basically two and a bit months I've been reading that series. So it was nice to have something a little bit more fun and cosy mysteries are amazing. Now I was um, kindly given the audio and the book to read the release date is in i shall put it up here somewhere i think it's in november i think it's november the 9th but i'll put it up here anyway uh, but it was kindly given to me by net galley and the um publishers so thank you very much for that i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it and if you enjoyed legends and lattes i think you will love i actually think you will love this more because we are with viv before she opens up her coffee shop so we get to sort of see a younger viv and what she was like when she was younger it's it's an amazing book the stories sort of entwined within the actual main story are just they're so cozy and and they just put a smile on your face after i finish the book it just i really hope that there is going to be a third one and the way it was set up I think there possibly might be and I really really hope that there is a third one in fact there's probably going to be quite a few I would hazard a guess at but absolutely amazing I gave it five stars and like I say if you really like Legends and Lattes you're going to love this and it's a great little in-betweeny sort of book just to read just to sort of take your mind off if you've been reading something a little bit heavier the audiobook, by the way, is, I thought it added to this story as well. So absolutely perfect. So that's what I did today. I also went to the dentist because unfortunately I seem to have chipped my tooth. This one up here. The, remember the one I got a fill in at the beginning of the year? Well, I was eating fajitas for goodness sake. So it wasn't even anything hard and my tooth basically cracked so i had to go and get that i've got a temporary sort of like uv resin thing on there at the minute so i'll probably have to go back and get a crown so just what we need just before christmas but anyway so that's my drama um, 
but yeah i really really enjoyed it so like i say if you if you like legends and lattes i think you'll like bookshops and bone dust simon schuster audio presents the witch haven by sasha payton smith read by piper goodeve someone i loved once gave me a box full of darkness it took me years to understand that this too was a gift mary oliver Hello, hello. So I finished bookshops and bone dust the other day. So I went on to Scribd and I just wanted something quick to listen to while I was at work. And I just listened to The Witch's Haven. I'll put a little thing of it up here. Loved it. It was, it was just a nice little quick, easy listening. You know, it, I think it is a YA book. But anyway, you know what it's like. Can I put you up there? Can I put you? I'll put you there because I am making myself a peach a peach tea. This is the peach tea that I use. It's from Lidl, but I am screaming to have Halloween. Obviously, I've got my. I went to TK Maxx and I picked up my pumpkin pumpkin spice latte, but it's a little bit too. I suppose I could do a cold brew, but I haven't got any cold coffee, and I'd have to wait. So I'm itching and you know it's it's now the burr months, isn't it? So I got this mould from <laughs> Shein because I, I was like, oh, because obviously I make ghosts and stuff like that, polymer clay ghosts, but it's a little bit too big, so I'm now using it as an ice maker. So I'm just gonna take it out of the mould. And he is great because he just floats around in my iced tea. There he is it. So he just goes in my cup and I just add my iced tea and he just keeps it. Or this is what I had the other day when I went, took the, uh, took the car to the, to the garage. I'm going to show you what he looks like in my drink. It's hilarious. There he is. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? So... It's Halloween here, albeit a warm Halloween, but that's fine. Uh, tomorrow, we're actually going to uh, Lempster. They have got a, it's like a vintage, it's a vintage country show, but they have, me and my son were going to go originally because my husband was supposed to be on call. However, he's had to swap his on call, so he's now coming, but they've got lawnmower racing. And I can't wait. Lawnmower racing sounds epic. So we're going to go and do a little bit of lawnmower racing spectating tomorrow. <laughs> so anyway, I just thought I'd give you a little bit of an update now. <sighs> Wonderful. I will see you in a bit. Oh, and just one more thing. You may have noticed I've got some new glasses. My glasses that I got last year broke. And I have just never gone back to the opticians. They've been glued together that many times. These are from Glasses Direct. Not sponsored, but my goodness, they're such good quality and love them. So I just put my prescription in. I got these ones and I've got a pink pair as well. But I'm going to get some, get a pair of sunglasses as well. Prescription sunglasses. But yeah, I just thought I'd point that out. New glasses. Right, I am going now because I've got to film some other videos for my craft channel. Well, hello. Two things. We're not at the vintage fair. We went there, it lasted about half an hour. <laughs> there was nothing there. So we've come into Lempster anyway. So this is the church. And I've come in with my son and my husband. <sighs> They've probably been doing stuff I can't quite see because it's very bright. We're going to go and have a look at it.
Well, hello, we've just got back. Well, we got back a couple of hours ago. Sorry if you can hear the fan, I've got the fan going. We finished. We went out today, obviously, as you saw. I was talking about the Witch Haven and I completely forgot to tell you what the heck it was all about. So it is a book written by a author called Sasha Pay Payton Smith. And it's a historical paranormal thriller. We follow a 17-year-old girl. Her name is Frances. And she basically is working in the... Uh, in a sort of workhouse it's a as i say it's historical in victorian london or maybe a little bit earlier than that and something happens and well she basically she an incident happens with the owner of the factory that she's working in and then oh it's not in london it's in manhattan I do apologise. So it's in uh, America. And this traumatic event happens with the owner of the factory. These women come to collect her and say, we are from such and such a sanc you know, sanctuary or whatever, a mental institution. We're going to take her. But the police are like, no, 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 no. We need to speak to her. It's like, no, no, we'll take her. It's fine. They end up taking her and where they end up taking her is to a school. And this school is under the guise of this mental institution. But the school is a school for witches. So we've got a little bit of Harry Potter vibes in there. Um, and we basically are following this character throughout her experiences of the school, learning magic. But then she find somebody who knew her brother who is deceased and he comes to her in dreams and things like that and then things just develop from there on in there's a plot twist i think because it's a ya i kind of got the plot twist quite early on but if you just want something that's nice and quick and easy to listen to within a couple of hours well not a couple of hours it was like six hours if you want to listen to that then it's on script at the minute it's very good and i would definitely recommend the book francis wants to find out who killed her brother basically so this is where the other guy comes in he's like i'm gonna help you i'm gonna help you and things develop so that's the basic crux of the story uh, i gave it a three stars i think only because of it being ya and it's you know it was a little bit predictable but other than that, I think it's all right. So there you go. I am now reading. I'm halfway through. I've um, got about two hours left on my Kindle because um, it's a Kindle Unlimited, The Paper Magician. Now, I have read this book before. Who is it by? I have read it before, um, but I thought, oh, do you know what? I'll just read it again. The Paper Magician. Uh, by oh it doesn't say who it's by on there but anyway so i'm on chapter eight at the minute and i've got i'm 42 percent in and i've got one hour and 43 minutes left so hopefully i'll get that finished tonight that's the next book i thought to myself i might as well just read these books again because i just want to get away from a little bit of epic fantasy at the minute and just sort of lose myself in in something a little bit easier to to read so but we had a wonderful day today it was really nice actually even though we didn't end up watching the lawnmower racing it was good to, to kind of just spend time with the family we had a picnic sat out on the on at the park and had i actually had a christmas sandwich i had turkey roast turkey stuffing cranberry sauce and i think I think that's it yeah in the sandwich so i had my christmas sandwich early i mean there is only 109 days until christmas you wouldn't believe it would you so anyway we're gonna have a takeaway as well tonight so i'm just gonna go and discuss what takeaway we're having and tomorrow we need to pop to the range not to get halloween stuff not to get halloween stuff 
we are going to pick up some frames. I picked up some prints at a car boot sale ages ago. In fact, the one and only car boot sale I went to, I ended up picking up a couple of prints. So we're going to go and see if we can get some frames for that. So that's what we've done today. I will see you in a bit. Food here, 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 food here. Come in. Mmm, chicken burger! Yeah! Hello! So, I finished the Paper Magician. I enjoyed it. Just something just to sort of listen to while I'm filling in a couple of hours, you know, just sitting in bed or whatever. Um, I... I did enjoy it. We are following the main protagonist, Cianne, and she has just graduated from school. And at this school, she has basically been learning how to fold paper and things like that and become a paper magician. So she's now graduated and finished that. She now has to go on to be an apprentice with someone. And she moves in with this guy who is basically her um, guardian and she is apprenticing with him. Unfortunately, something happens to him during the book and she has to save him. So that is where the story goes. I think she then slowly falls in love with him. So the next one, I think, is a paper, not paper magician, glass or plastic it could be plastic i can't remember but i might just dip in and out because it's quite a quite an easy one to dip in and out of so i've got quite a busy week coming up um i've got visitors over the weekend and things like that so i'm going to record as much as i can so yeah that is it for this week's vlog thank you so much for watching and uh I will see you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye.